Oh, would you look at that? I do have my tombstone all the way over there. Nice. Nice. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Zombies. Apparently, my tombstone is all the way over here. I don't remember ever dying in this place. But we're gonna make our way all the way over there. Try to do as much as we can. Try to see if we can actually finish the Act 4 missions, which is literally leave the Dark Ether. I don't have a teammate. I did see a video on TikTok. I cannot find the video. He found a way to be able to go and avoid getting hit by that worm solo by going up a little ledge. Couple zombies spun up there, but not too crazy. I think I could probably handle it. I did say in the last video that I am going to be going in with the WSP swarms. The guy was doing crazy amount of damage. I want to do the same thing and I do have the tech eradicator as well. I'm happy to know that the glitch is still available for the invisible weapons when you use Modern Warfare 2 attachments on Modern Warfare 3 weapons or oh, blueprint attachments to be more specific. Now I'm real curious to know what I actually had in that backpack. I don't think I had much. I think I did use all my items to try to kill that ether worm, but we'll find out right. Ooh, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, you know what? Sorry, bike. I'm taking this. It was probably a mistake, but it is what it is. I think it's too far away for me to even make it. Damn. I might have had money, though. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that my, my tombstone actually has a little bit of money. Hold on. Please tell me I got a little bit of money. Five grand? Not bad. Another tombstone can. Jesus, hold up. Hold up. Give me, give me, let me, let me, let me see what I got. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Two tombstone cans, a chunk of meat, and a 5,000 essence, which is not that bad, honestly. I didn't want you guys to see all that 45 minute looting, trying to get the money for all of this stuff. Most of the perks, I technically just picked them up from the ground. I got kind of lucky on that. Double pack a punch. So I got the Tack Eradicator, triple pack a punch. I got the WSP, double pack a punch. That one, I think it's an epic rarity. And the Tack Eradicator is actually a legendary. I got three self revives. I got almost all my perks. I think I'm missing one. I'm not sure. I think I'm missing only one perk, but I got the majority of them that are important with me. We got 30 minutes to do this. So I might just be run through all the way over there. Just go straight into it. Boom! Activated. Okay, 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 okay. We got this! I, I'm assuming I might just have to, like, run around here in this little general area. Maybe not a lot of zombies are going to be spawning in as I am a solo player. But we'll find out. Okay, mimics are not that bad. The swarms are putting in work. Put, throw, throw one of those dudes right there. Is it shooting? Is it working? It is. Okay. Ah, oh, dude. It ain't too bad, bro. Jesus! Don't hit me one more time because I might go down. It got a little sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Two of them? Okay, let's make our way over there. Don't want to fight you. If you want to come and fight me over here, fight me over here. I need your soul for this soul box. Throw this down right there. So they give me a little bit of a chance to do this. Boom. Now we can go at it. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, you can actually get out of the circle, run around, do a little loop. Do a little... Oh, my lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my lord. Okay. That got sketchy. So, I'm assuming the... I mean, it is a soul box. So, the more I kill, the more I get. Hey. Let's activate this. This one at least gives me a little bit of more room to play around. And I'm not trapped in a little circle. Is it me or is like is this circle not like heavy? Like doesn't have a lot of zombies like that you would expect. There's a mangler coming. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Who doesn't like the single single shot kill thing? There we go. We can now actually make our way to the last one. For that one, I'm probably gonna go all the way to the top. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way to the top and just parachute down. What? <laughs> so we're going to the final seal. After this, we are going to fight the worm. 
So let's hope we survive. I'm not gonna kill any of them just so that I can get as much as many souls as I can on this little circle. Boop, 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 boop. What do we got? A disciple in this one? Come on, disciple. I need you though. I need like 16 more to finish one of my calling cards. So pretty close. Pretty damn close if you ask me. That disciple does not want to like come over here. Okay, 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 yo, 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 relax. Hey, what's up with all these disciples out here? You know what? <laughs> There's three disciples on me. Get that. Jesus, I didn't. I dude, I I messed up. How many more we got? We got two more. Okay, so let's go and fight this worm. Should I think we should have probably tried finding that ledge before we try getting the worm to come out. Oh, there it is. So that's the ledge we're gonna try to get on as soon as the worm comes out. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, 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 okay. There should be. Yes, there it is. <laughs> There's a little rope we can use to go up here. And apparently, this is like a good safe spot to fight this dude. If you want him to come out of the ground, just shoot the floor. And eventually, he will pop up. If we do need ammo, there is an ammo cache down there where we can actually head down. Not bad, we still got 20 minutes. Now we're gonna go to the cache and get some more ammo and we'll make our way back up here, dude. Now that we got ammo. Oh, his health is coming back up. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come out and play. Whenever he is down there, just keep an eye on it because he does regenerate his health. The less he's down there, the better. It's time consuming, don't get me wrong. Like, it's extremely time consuming. But if you want to do this solo, I think this is the best way you can go about it. It's funny how I'm not actually hitting the spot. Just a little bit top right corner and I'm doing the most damage. Oh, I maybe got one more before I gotta go get some more ammo. Come on, dude. Come on and play. Trying to get a little bit of a refill. Oh, Jesus. That's my mistake. I should have let him go down before actually going to go pick up some more ammo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. Not too bad if you ask me. Give me all that beautiful stuff. I'll take that golden scum. Raw Ethereum Crystal. Yes, yes, yes. I wish I could take that three-plated armor vest, though. Oh, what you got for me, though? Oh yeah, the, I need to take this. This is mandatory. Uh, so we got the golden skull. We got the locked diary now. PhD flopper. We only have one self revive, which is more than enough. Oh, my bad. I thought it was like Minecraft where you just walk into it. <laughs> well, there you have it. So if you're still trying to get the ether worm killed and you're just playing solo, probably the easiest way to actually get that worm killed without having to deal with any of the zombies. Maybe one or two zombies that spawn in or that are around the corner. But all in all, pretty fast and easy. But if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Came through tripping Aquafina. I'm sipping 15. Kept a weapon on me. Blow make bitches on my mind. Been in stack chicken like what it's gonna be. Crew in the cut. Hey, you want us for run when I tell a bit peace. I've been playing with the minutes that they been should've gave. And I'm flipping every digit that they been should've paid.